is up everybody, welcome back to hopefully the final episode of Spectrobe's Origins. Yeah, last episode you guys we fought through a gauntlet of crawl, uh, one of each type, and I think we also fought clear types, which was pretty much a menage of all of them. Anyway, this episode we will hopefully be taking on Crux and winning. Yeah, and um... Yeah, I did some level grinding to prepare for this boss. I did a lot of it. If you notice, Lowen is now level 85. He was level 70, I believe, at the end of the last episode. So he's gotten up uh, uh, by 15 levels, which hopefully will be enough to not die instantly. I, d I don't think he'll actually be doing a lot of damage, but. As long as he survives, that's all that really matters. I also leveled up my Spectral team. As you can see, they are all level 70. Which, a lot of them were in the upper 40s, lower 50s, so at least 20 or so levels. So that was pretty brutal. <laughs> oh man. But, yeah. So hopefully we will be able to take out Crux of this episode. Um, I say hopefully because, well, I was watching a few videos of people fighting Crux on YouTube, you know, just to prepare, see if, what to expect, really. And a lot of them seem to recommend Wallen being level 100 and Spectrox level 90 or 80. But honestly, I felt like level 70 was a, a decent amount. A decent amount to get anyone up to so they could deal some serious damage and hopefully take a few hits. Well, more than a few hits. But, you know, we, we'll see what happens. We shall see what happens. But, you know, in any case, I really hope you guys are excited for this episode because it's gonna be a good one for the simple fact we are gonna have a, a boss fight up ahead a boss fight I don't know if it's gonna be a good boss fight or a bad one but yeah hopefully it doesn't take me the entire episode to actually beat Crux that would be very annoying um but I don't think it will I don't think it will but, you know, we we, no, we can never know, can we? So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I hope you guys have been enjoying this Let's Play. And, um, well, been following me through most, if not all of it. Because it's been a pretty wild ride. It probably wouldn't have been nearly as difficult if I knew half the stuff I do now at the beginning. If I knew how to use a lab system properly. Because I, I didn't think I could unless I was at the patrol cruiser. But, eh, I was wrong. Alright, you guys. Actually, uh, this is where we left off the last episode where we fought Firecrawl. Um... So I think we're going to have to fight the clear crawl, which is pretty much just going to be, uh, like, all the attributes. So hopefully we can, um, beat him. Yeah, most of these crawl are, like, 65, so I'm fairly certain we're at a decent level with them. With my spectros. Cause let me tell you, it was a pain in the butt to find everyone. You know? Yeah. Oh crap, I'm still using the um the water sword. Yeah, I'm gonna switch over to the Zaza sword. Yeah, there we go. There we go. I don't 
So as you can see, we're pretty well taking care of these tall. I say pretty well, and my spec group just got hurt a bunch. But you know what? Uh, we're getting a lot of experience from these crawl, so that's a huge reason. Oh, well, that's a good reason. Well, it's good because, uh, who knows, we might level up again. I mean, I doubt it, I really do. But you never know. You honestly never know. Oh, you guys look like bosses. Oh, did, did they not get hurt? Oh man, that's my... Hopefully we get to save after this, because... I really am... Well, these guys just seem a lot... Tougher. Well, not a lot tougher, they just seem tough. I, I say that as I immediately pick one of them out. Okay. I guess I gotta use my charge tax. Alright. Now that didn't work. That didn't work. But that's okay. That's okay. At least we're hurting it, just, you know, not for a lot, apparently. Yeah, this one doesn't seem to do as much damage. I think the other one was, like, the sword and this one's the shield. Maybe? Hm. I do not know. That did it. Right? Okay. Awesome. Alright, what's next? What's next? Oh, we're gonna jump straight to the crux battle. Oh, fudge. A passage? Or maybe someone's leading us. Gee, I wonder who that could be. It must be old man Jenkins. What? The levels off the chart. Gina, look. These crawl just keep getting ugly and uglier. Some kind of bulked up mutant crawl. The last line of defense. No. Actually, I think it's part of the crawlosphere. And there's a big bad dude. We're gonna have to fight Crux and that crawl. Oh shit. Well, come on then. Let's see if you know how to use it. You're a fool who sacrificed everything for power. Alright, yeah, let's do it. Yeah, we gotta fight Crux and the Dark Claw. Oh god. Alright, uh, this isn't gonna be easy. 
At least we're doing huge damage, damn. Oh, we, we're getting legged all. Alright, let's hit it with a charge attack. Yeah, we're taking this thing apart. I think I leveled up on it. I did, damn. Yeah, I'm gonna try and stay away from Crux. I feel like this crawl is the bigger threat here. You know, I, I'm pretty sure. Damn. Okay. Yeah, we're taking this thing down. That's awesome. Ooh, that charge attack though. And down it goes. Oh, we both leveled up. Perfect. Perfect. Yep, somebody ain't happy. Oh, is he, is he just gonna keep teleporting around? Oh, that's gonna be annoying. Him with a charge attack, see how much of this it does. Oh! Damn! That did a huge amount of damage, you guys! That took him down from like... Like 95% of his health down to like 2%. That was awesome! Come on, come on. Come on. Ah, how much health does this guy have? Yes! Oh, Crux, you are dead. Right? <laughs> right? Oh, please tell me he's dead for good. I say that's him him dying, but until I see his corpse on the ground, I'm gonna just survive. We'll be in we That was a pretty awesome. Oh, 
damn, this is intense. Gina got out of her ship. Oh, and the quality just conveniently goes around the planet. I guess now why Terra has its own asteroid field. Or ice field? I don't know. Won't be needing these anymore. We're honored. Thanks for letting us use them. Oh, please. There is no need to be so humble. We owe you everything. You saved our people and protected our planet. You have our deepest thanks. Your feats will live on forever, in the hearts of our people and in our lore. It's there that your tribute will be written. Okay, okay they're going down in history. Now you're embarrassing us. Ah, come on, own it. Have some dignity for the love of, I mean, face it. You were real heroes out there, so can the aw shucks bitter. I like how Kim Tog is now saying, like, stop being so humble and just accept the thing. And evil are facts of life. That's the inescapable truth, my friends, unfortunately. The thing to remember is victories like this ripple down through time. Someday a new Spectro Master will draw courage from your deeds. And just as you have, they too will accept the Cosmolink. And fulfill their destiny. This is why we That's must something I want to know. If there's only one special master, does he use the entire Cosmo Lake or only half like Raw and Gina did? A party and no oh, we guys, okay. But, 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 are you kidding me? Is that all the greeting I get after coming all this <laughs> way? I no, of course not. Don't mind her. She's just teasing. Nice work, you two. You brought peace back to our world. Think about that. What greater gift could there possibly be? Oh, well, uh, I... Hopeless. My heroic partner is completely hopeless. Preach into the choir. Oh, I brought you all something. Just a little token of my appreciation. Damn. I, hope you I like guess it. they won't just be going snack. hungry for a while. <laughs> Now then, there are many others who would like to say goodbye to you both. Let's not keep them waiting. All right, that was a pretty awesome cutscene, you guys. <sighs> Sorry, I wasn't talking much for it, but it was just—it was just that epic. <clears throat> now this time you said you did buy so real just I don't want to. This will be your last chance. I trust that you'll make the best of the time you have. Thank you, we will. Let's go say goodbye, Wally. Okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna talk to those if I really don't care what they have to say. To be absolutely honest. But uh, we can talk to Commander Grant. Wallen, Gina, have you finished speaking with with these? The ship's ready to depart whenever you're ready. Thanks, Commander, and thanks for saving our lives, too. That's actually something I gotta wonder. How did Wallen get in the ship? Can Wallen breathe in space now? Hmm. Nothing to consider. If you hadn't shown up in your ship, we would have been vaporized into space along with the follow sphere. But if you don't mind, I think we'd like a little more time before heading back to Nana Hill. Yeah, we still have to say goodbye to builders, no we don't. I suppose you're right, Gina. Come see me again when you finish. We'll set off as soon as you're ready. Remember, this 
is your last chance. If there's no one you want to talk to, that's not. That's not. Time to go. Well, it seems you should finish your goodbyes. I think it's about time for us to be going. Yep, time to go home. Another cutscene. Perfect. So you're Grant, huh? Crux told me all about you, way back when. You know, before he spoke. I could have just said before he went evil. Oh, yeah. Oh. He called you the solidest piece of work he ever met. But a bit of a stiff. <laughs> Sounds like him, then. He spoke of you as well, many times. I wonder if that's what Crux actually said. He said. Of course, that was like 30 years ago, so she that. probably left a lot different. Anymore. <sighs> Funny thing is, he never told me, though. Shoulda too. Who knows? It's possible things might have turned out yeah, real that's different. Yeah, true. You never know. Or if I'd only have been able to stop him, I've run over it all in my mind. So yeah, many but if times. only you had dodged the first punch. Ah, listen to us, crazy talk. It's the past. Yep, Let's can't change the past. Too much to look forward to now, anyway. Cause thanks to all of you guys, the future's suddenly looking pretty darn bright Yay. for everybody. <laughs> Farewell, my dear friends. Stay strong, don't eat garbage, and get a decent sleep every night, you hear? I don't envy you, but keep an eye on him anyway. He's got potential, that Oh. I promise you, we'll make the best of this precious gift you've given us. It sounds so small, but... Oh, I kind of feel like she should have, like, kissed the wall around the cheek or something. And you, just try to stay out of trouble, will you? Right, this coming from you. <laughs> you got me there, you cocky pup. All right then, Wiseacre, let me rephrase that. Good on you, good luck, and goodbye. Bye, Camp Toga. I'm loving this game. Oh, I can't wait to. Uh, I don't know. There's a signal. Who could that be? Thanks, but that sound. What was that? Don't you recognize it? It is a salutation we learned from a human who has been visiting. Oh, I think I know who that human is. A human? Wait, don't tell me. Is it? Hey, guys! Bet you can't guess who this is. <laughs> guys? Can you hear me? I had a hunch it was you. Oh, Neil. Neil teaches us many things not in standard manuals. Do you know him? Uh, yeah, we do. But about. Salutation of yours? <laughs> Guys, what is it? Nothing unusual. Neil has just plummeted from the tower on it. <laughs> what? <laughs> he just fell off the tower. Remember to steer clear of that antenna you bumped into before. Oh, Neil, you gotta be the most accident prone dude I have ever been. guys are a perfect match. Oh, at Maybe least in Neil's spec got more lives than a whole litter of kittens. Remember his face when we got him out of those ruins? Yeah, well, but he dead. always lands on his feet. You know? I, I like how Valentina piloted it, and Sir, it's supposed to be Grant. Does that look familiar? Excellent work. 
Initiate activation of the portal system. Gina, set a course for Nanairo. We're going home. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's right. They can manually create portals now. That was something they did in Beyond the Portals to get to Crux. I think they actually created a portal. I'm pretty sure they did that. Oh, is that it? Yeah, that's it. Alright, you guys, thank you so much for watching this episode and well, for following me throughout this entire Let's Play, if you have, then thank you so much. Um, it's been a pretty fun game to play. I've had a lot of... Uh, it's just been fun to play. That's all I'm gonna really say. I, I love learning all the new things, even though a lot of them I, no, I failed to um, use, like the lab system, um, exchanging fossils for minerals and all that. Yeah, that was just my bad. But I played this entire game blind for the most part, and I am super glad I did. Because it was just one roller coaster of a ride. And that was so much fun to experience. I, that really happens nowadays. Um, for the simple fact that a lot of times I'll have played a game before. I'll play the game before, so playing a game like this blind is pretty pretty amazing. So that way I <laughs> I don't know, I just love, love playing it blind, and uh, it was well worth it. All the surprises and twists were just amazing. Yeah. But anyway, you guys, again, I want to say thank you so much for joining me on this amazing game. And I hope you had fun watching it, and if you have, leave a like or a comment on the video. Subscribe to my channel if you want more content. Or if, you know, you want to check out my other videos and you like them too, you know, you can do that. Anyway, you guys, um, also don't forget to go check out my other Let's Plays. I would greatly appreciate them getting some attention. I do have other Let's Plays in mind, which one of them is most likely, well, I'm not going to say most likely, it is going to be Spectros Beyond the Portals. I really want to get back to playing that game because it was just awesome to play. Um, comparing the two, I don't know if I prefer Beyond the Portals or Origins. I think I prefer Beyond the Portals most. Uh, mostly the um, combat and the excavation mechanics, but I don't know, storyline wise, plot wise, I gotta give it to Origins because this was just amazing. You know, learning that Grant knew Crux before he went crazy, that Grant actually was a nice guy before he became obsessed with power. You know, that was so interesting to learn. <laughs> um, yeah. I'll say this for those of you who haven't played any of the special games, I highly recommend getting them, playing them. Um, especially Beyond the Falls and Origins. The first special game is great, don't get me wrong. But honestly, um, I can't play it on this emulator just because uh, I, I can't. And I don't know, all the, especially at battle mechanics, it just. I don't know, they're so weird to use on a keyboard and mouse. You think Beyond the Portals would be the same, but no, it's actually decent. Uh, that's one one thing I gotta say about it. Uh, I don't know, maybe maybe I will do uh, the first Spectro game uh, after Beyond the Portals, kind of go in like reverse order, and that'd be pretty cool. Let me know what you guys want, uh, what do you guys think? I guess you do it? Uh, no. And also, you know, um, 
Oh. Okay. What? What was that about? It said like we unlocked a new story mode. Oh, silver colored coma inu. Is that it? Is that all? Huh. Okay. Let's um. Let's see what we got to deal with now. Okay. So, uh, so nothing new. All right, you guys. That's the end of this last play. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to go check out my other ones, and hope you enjoy them too. See you then.